Today we're going to go to the local charity shop, the one that we all know and love, and see if I can't find some items to add to my eBay and vintage store. When we come back, we'll go through some sales that are going out, and hopefully we can have some stuff from the charity shop to show you as well. Let's go. I'm going to need this. Oh, you do, you do. My little one here. Good morning. Oh, it's very Ikea-ish. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I think I want it. Let me get a basket today. I thought today we could just take the GoPro out on its own. Nah. What is that? Paw Patrol. Nickelodeon. I reckon that's new, whatever that is. Take a chance on a fiver. Gunned. Is it actually though? We took a chance on that. Oh look. Aid of life then. 2021 AD. Four. I've never heard of that one before. Probably worth getting even for spares by the look of it. 18, 13, it's a big box, isn't it? Oh. That's Hey Dougie, I think, Emma, Ada Locks then. I just wanna do... It's a call, but 12.50. Step What's that? Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Are you trying to get me to buy it or something? No, I just, I thought I'd seen you buy something. Fine, I'll buy it. Alright, so you have to swear it is, yes? Good morning. Good morning. Are you alright? Yeah, you alright? Oh, for fuck's sake. I dream about that. You do what was she doing in your dream then? It's not real. Unfortunately. It's a nice one. Small size. They look dreadful. I'm after a yellow square bag. Is any any of those about? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so if I can find a modern number on that, it might be worth getting. Omni Protect. Don't know. I'm going to check this bag out as well because there's no makes on it, but it's a bit random looking, do you know what I mean? Can't pick it up on Google Images. Let's try getting away from the sun. I'm trying to work it out, I don't think so. That's what I'm trying to find out who made it, but I can't. Nearly a fiver, it's a risk. It's like isn't it? a, oh, so it's like a perfume bottle, isn't it? That's, that's, that's how it's supposed to look, yeah. Ah, I see. How do you open oh, right there. Oh, it's got no name on it. Oh, it's got that thing on it. Yeah, it's just, it's just a security tag. It probably used to have perfume in it, I would imagine. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But it, it sort of looks like a Chanel bottle, doesn't it? Mm, yeah, it's not going to be Chanel. Vaguely. But... I mean, vaguely, it looks like a Chanel yeah. bottle. Very vaguely. I'll buy it. I'll take a risk on it. On, I'll take a chance. Four quid. What is that? It's like a nice, like a nice handmade bag. It's nice, but. Put that bag in the way. 
Somebody's come and dropped off a thousand. Work sucks. Okay, Boona. Oh, mate, you're right. Yeah. I'm not too sure yet. You're not too sure. Why are you too? Well, sure? I haven't filled the basket up yet. You haven't what? Filled the basket up yet. Oh. Once that's filled up, I'll be happy. I think for five fifty, it's in a good enough condition for me to grab it. I think stuff like this, I'm going to check to make sure the zips work because normally I get home and they're just absolutely battered. Some, there's always a zip that's broke or there's a hole in something. Marks there, but I think that's just toothpaste. That'll wipe, that'll wipe off. Check the card isn't snapped. We'll have it. I'm taking a risk on that, I've got no idea. It's either going to be really cheap or we'll soon find out. Is that old Batman town? Yeah, look at that. 1988. No stains, no rips. Somebody's name, thank you. Luke Gurelp. See that set for the dogs that was. That'd have been a shame. These look cool. They're very Ikeary. Can't see there's a line going right through that one. Good job there's two, isn't it? Grin. Look at them. Condition used. Do you reckon they're actually getting that kind of money? They're talking about politics in there. So only one listed 99.99. None sold. Am I really going to do that? What we're going to do. We're going to go to research. We're going to research. We're going to check Terra Peak, which is already built into the app now. It always comes to 90 days. We're going to go three years. Nah, I think that person's just chancing it. Because there's one on Etsy there as well, 115. Do you reckon they're just feeding off each other? Do you know what I mean? I think these two, I think these two listings here are just feeding off each other. <sighs> I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to be bamboozled by the two listings that haven't sold and unsold in three years at that price. I'm gonna leave it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Still 50 quid. Yep. Daytona hot grips. They're very perish there, aren't they? But the vintage, I might have to. Warm handle grips. Daytona, you see. Let's have a look. Before you buy it. Oh, I'm going to buy it, whatever it is. Of course you are. I'm going to risk that, even though they look. There's some good soles on there. Some good soles, but these like look perished, don't they? I mean, 250, let's go for it. The tea bar, grow bar. Grow this collection of superb fragrance and brew your own teas. Got to grow it quick. I think I'm done filling up. I'm not going to check out just yet. Right. I'll pop that on there for a minute. Has he got some good electricals for us coming out, has he? He's got a fair bit of oh. them. Oh. Yeah. Has, has he done them? Uh, he's in the process of just doing them at the mm. moment. <laughs> Sweet as a nut. Let's have a look on there. Is there anything you're looking for particularly? No. No, okay. I'd be daft. My life yeah. would be so boring if I was looking for things like that. True. £2 yeah. for a... I lost recorder and book. Somebody else can have that misery. I'm not going to be a participant in causing stress in somebody's home. Is that a belt hole punch? Is that for a belt? Is that for a belt, do you reckon? Um, isn't it just a hole punch? Isn't it just a normal hole punch? Not too sure. It's not that I really look funny, but I think it's just a hole punch. Hey, she, it suits you. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, whenever you're ready, I think we can cash up. Whenever you're ready, mate. Right, let's go. I will, um, I'll keep browsing while you do it, though. Because you never know. That's just come out, I wasn't there a second ago. Thank you. Steve will be after that. I still haven't found his ever right for him yet. Dead bakers. These are not bad for four quid, but I think they're four. Six fifty. See those I picked that up off the floor, that's why you suddenly got that. I didn't I said I just said it. I didn't see it. Yeah, I didn't see it there. He's a Paw Patrol. He's a what? Paw Patrol. Yeah, I knew, I knew it was Paw Patrol. Oh. I hear them quite well today. And this is a funky idea. In a weird sort of way. I moved that on the shelf today as well. I like it. It's I like IKEA. It's like a USB one. I quite like it actually, yeah. Right, let me right. give you my details. I've got my card today. Oh. Can't be missing out on that, can we? Well, I never miss you, eh? No, no. Here you go. I'm, I'm, I'm trind trundling nicely towards that free credit again. Thank you. That was pretty decent. We'll go through that in just a moment. But before we do, let's check out some sales that we've had over the last few days that need to go out. Only one on eBay, just one. We've sold this vintage back mouthpiece. It's for a trumpet. A lot of people could use this for when they're blowing their own. It's an old one, it's boxed. The box is tatty. However, I listed it for $29.99. Someone sent me an offer of 50 and I counted at 20 and they accepted because 20 is still a good deal as well. So these are really nice pieces. It's a good brand to be looking out for anyway. So if you do end up finding some trumpets or some things like that, that are absolutely battered and you feel like there's just no resale value in it at all, make sure you check for the accessories in the compartments and stuff because there might be some of these. If they're brand new, fantastic. This one's pre-owned, bear that in mind for the price. So it's like if someone's saying I want five pound, it's battered and you open it and there's loads of accessories in there, things like this by the company back. And there is a few other companies as well. It's worth picking up, just something to note. Now the rest of my sales are on Vinted, huh? Scales, tipping. Although I do actually have some private sales going out, so we'll go through those first, actually. And one of them, Tam and Bell. I'm so sorry. So first of all, for £16 all in, Tam and Bell have actually picked up the Busy Buzzy Bumbles. They bought this from me last week. Last week. This is where I get lost when it comes to Instagram sales, because sometimes I forget. So I did message them and say, I've just walked into the garage, I saw the busy bumblebees and I got struck with a wave of anxiety and I didn't know why. And then I realized, cause you bought it and I hadn't sent it out yet. So Tam and Bell, massively appreciate your patience on this one. If you haven't already, go check out their YouTube page, even though it's just Tam's life page now, it's just Tam. But when Bell makes an appearance, it's totally worth the time. Thank you so much guys, I do appreciate it. Three pounds 50, I think that was into 16 pounds, all in, thank you. Don't put it back up there because it won't go out. Actually, yeah, it will. I've mentioned it. I've seen it. I know it's going to go out. A very frequent viewer of the channel, Ben Cox, he has picked up a little bundle from me as well. He saw me pick this up on the car boot video a little while ago, and he actually paid maybe two weeks ago now, but he asked me to hold off postage until the 30th, and today's date is Wednesday the 30th of October. So we're going to get it out. This came from the lady where I picked up the bundle of Michael Jackson books and all those kinds of things. He has picked up the Brutalist Type-In, along with the William Morris Strawberry Thief five-piece gift set. Really, really nice piece, that. If I had a decent kitchen, instead of a crappy-looking IKEA one, I'd keep something like this. But anyway, Ben's picked this up for £23 all in. So, Ben, I massively appreciate you, mate. Shout out to you. Thank you for being such a lovely viewer on the channel. You always leave nice comments and you interact and stuff. So it's really, really nice of you to pick something up. Ben, I appreciate you, mate. Adrian! One half of the lovely Fitches has picked up the IKEA family umbrella. I picked this up ages ago. He expressed interest ages ago, and I said I'd get around to looking at it for you ages ago. Ping! Oh no, you're gonna get some bad luck. Shh! So I've done some research, and this umbrella was actually given to people who, I think they was employed by IKEA, you're part of the IKEA family, or there was an IKEA family members group club thing. Anyway, it was exclusive. You had to either work there or be part of an exclusive program. Some of the bags sell for like 30 to 50 pound on their own. So I thought this is gonna be worth some good money, but I paid a pound for it or two pounds. Can't remember, Adrian, you probably remember. I thought it's gonna cost me three or four quid to post it. If I can get, if I can get I basically, I sold it for £16.50. No, I sold it for £16. 
And he said, how about 16.15 and it's a deal? I see what you did there, son. So Adrian and his lovely missus have picked this up. Thank you both so much. I do appreciate it. They've been very... They're the ones who picked up the vintage Butlin's biscuit tin and the vintage porcelain biscuit tin. Now they've got a... Ikea family umbrella. Ikea family umbrella. I can find a way to tunify anything, all right? So be careful. Let's not scratch my lens. Appreciate you both massively. Thank you so much. Let's not doing that. I'll pop that out there as well. All right, there we go. Now we can move into Vinted. Now, I don't know if this chap watches the channel or not. I do recognize the username though, so maybe. I think it is. Yeah, Billy. I don't know if you, oh, I'm pretty sure. I recognize the username. And I recognize the name. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure though, so I am gonna mention you regardless anyway. Billy's picked this one up. He's picked up the head bag. Paid five pounds for this one. I mentioned obviously it's starting to get that sort of stickiness, but it's as, uh, the stickiness has started to like calm down now. I think where it's been stuck in such a humid climate, and then it's come into this garage where it's nice and cool, it's sort of sorted itself out. So it's gone for a nice bargain price that, five pound into 29 pounds 99. These are all on Vinted now. So Billy, if you do watch the channel, massively appreciate you mate. You've got a cool looking bag there, mate. My internet is being well dead. I'm not even uploading anything. I don't understand why it's doing that. Do it through the phone, stuff you. So Stephen sent me a message after he picked these up. He's bought the nudie jeans. Remember when I did my big clothing listing? I've sold loads of it. You would have seen in the last video as well. Most of that clothing was from that listing session. Stephen's picked these up and he did say to me, spotted these in your latest video, Ricky. Nice one. Keep up the content hustle. Steve, massively appreciate you, mate. Get them out to you today as well. Can't do much on my laptop though, so I can't even print the bloody label just yet. Thank you, dude. <laughs> oh, actually I can. I can just air print it, can't I? So if I go down to my phone, go to print, and it should have mum been set up ready. Print that off, send it across. Jobs are good and there we go. Love Bluetooth printers. 5.95 paid, sold for 11 pounds and 11 pence. The Lego Technics, I picked it up from the charity shop where I said I was averaging myself down. I knew it was only a 12 pound sale, but I bought it anyway because it makes the rest of the stuff a bit cheaper when you buy it. That's how I like to run my business and it works for me. We're moving along swimmingly. Uh, Linz has picked this one up. She sent me a lovely message, bless her. Linz has picked up the Corona Beach, like a beach toweling jacket top. Really, really nice top this. I bought it for myself. I don't know if you remember, maybe, ooh, eight months ago, most likely, bought it for myself. I paid 10 pound for this because I was going to keep it. Lindsay said, oh my goodness. She didn't say, oh my goodness. Thanks so much for accepting my offer, Ricky. Bloody love this hoodie. Yeah, me too, me too. And bloody love your YouTube videos. I watch many resellers on the tube but you are by far the most real, if you get my drift. I feel part of the Ricky Posse slash family. Love you, Linz. Love you, Linz. And you are part of the Posse slash family. You all are. Even the Dick Wads, there's always a knobhead brother or somewhere in the family, isn't there? That's probably, that's normally me, actually. For £6.30 now, they're on here. I can't really, actually, no, I'll leave them there for you. A pair of Supergas. I just couldn't sell them for the life of me. So I just had them at so many different prices, they wouldn't sell. Even in the end, I ended up going right around to seven quid and accepted an offer of six pounds 30 or something. Some Supergas. It might be because of the design, I don't know. But they're sold anyway. Nice big box out of the way. Shirley has picked up the Lily by Stella McCartney photo frame. So I'm guessing this might have been a freebie when you bought the perfume. The perfume seems to be selling for quite a lot of money, but this, I couldn't find anything, any, I couldn't find much about it to be honest with you. So I just went, I thought, what's a relatively reasonable price? What can, what can, what can I sell it for? I just made a figure up. I listed it for £12 and 12 pence. Shirley said, nice frame for the grandkids' photos. Love having a little mooch when you put stuff on. It's fun, isn't it, when I put stuff up? So I really appreciate that, my darling. And then next up, we've had a mighty big, mighty big, mighty big bundle I sold over on Vinted. Matty boy over at Handpicked Stuff. Please do go check out all of his socials, by the way. He's doing really, really well in this game. He has decided to actually use his noggin and take advantage of the bundle discount option on Vinted. I've got two items for 5%, three items for 10%, and five items for 20%. And that's exactly what he did. He saw me list an absolute smashing bundle and thought, hmm, how can I get that even cheaper? And he put loads of stuff together. Well done, my man. I appreciate your 
what's the word, capitalizing on it. I ended up not down, but I didn't get anywhere near as much as the listing value. Well, 20% off, obviously. But that's what it's for. I encourage, I've sold more, I've sold, I've sold quantity. So I had listed, I think this was like $16.99 or something that I had listed, $16.16 or something. It's a Mario Kart Lexi book, alarm clock calendar. You can project the light onto the ceiling. There it is there. Really, really nice. They picked up five items. Hello Kitty tote bag. I had that listed for six pounds and 66 pence. Listed both of those yesterday to be fair. Tomi, my first sewing kit, had that listed for about 18, 18, I think, something like that. So what are we at so far? About 35, 40 quid. And then I had these listed for about 16 quid. Chase and Everest, Builder Bears. On top of what I listed yesterday, which obviously spawned the, hmm, how can I make this work for me? And there's a bundle, really nice Benez bundle as well. Comes with two controllers in really good condition. Two games, Lemmings, car only, and Mario and Yoshi, car only, and the console. But look at that, there's a few scratches and stuff, obviously, but look at the coloring and it's just a lovely, lovely piece with the power lead, obviously. I mentioned that the power lead, the case is a little bit loose there, but it's got like a weird, I haven't got any like pliers to do it. It's got like plier screws. So I listed that for 99 pounds and 99 pence. Matt ended up getting all of this stuff for 128 pounds 95. What an absolute bargain. Bearing in mind, 100, so that's 99.99, so add an extra 30 quid, that would have just been probably the bag and the teddies instead. He got the rest of it, got, he got these free. So, you know, he did well there. So Matt, I massively appreciate you. Go and check out handpicked stuff over on Vinted and eBay, and then you might see this pop back up over there sometime. So I really appreciate that. Now I've got a lot of packing to do because of you. I've got to try and find a nice big box. I'm sure I can manage it somewhere. I don't know though. I'm annoyed because I actually had a massive box yesterday and I broke it all. Oh, that might work. Mr. Project Games. So Matt, Project, maybe it won't actually, but Mr. Project Games, bless his little heart, actually sent me a um, Moonpig bundle as well. I put it on Instagram. He sent me six beers. In fact, they're down there. And a big box full of sweets and a lovely card. Look, hashtag, you're it. I love what he did there, by the way, because my name used to be Ricky Lee reselling everything on my socials, and there's a good reason for that. I've mentioned it before, and Matt's been here since day one. So, Mr. Project Games, I do appreciate you. Please do go check out Matt on YouTube, as I'd love to see his channel grow. I've been an advocate for his channel for a long while now, and I keep pushing him and pushing everybody else over there and stuff. So, I'd really love it if you went over there and just checked him out and subscribed to the channel. Love you, Matt. Right, that's all the sales, I do believe. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think I am. Let me just check Instagram quickly in case I'm... Forgetting something again, it isn't, it isn't unheard of. No, we're good, we're good. So I'll get those packed up and then we'll have a look at what we picked up today as well. Right then, let's get into the charity shop pickups. Some of it's a bit gambly, a bit risky. Some of it is kind of like, well, I like that anyway, so I'll buy that and if it's not worth much, I'll keep it. Now this one, first of all, is quite a nice little surprise. So I paid £2.50 for this and it is by Daytona, which caught my eye. These are Daytona hot grips. So they're just grips that you add onto your motorcycle you install them and there's a heating element which runs through and it heats up the grips on your motorbike so you don't have to have cold grips. I've got the same thing on my steering wheel. Oh, flex. Now I know these ones are a little bit older. I can't find a date on these ones just yet though, but you can just tell they're a bit older and the rubber inside on the grips has started to get that white film. Now that'll either wipe off or it won't. That was the risk. Now I know obviously there's more newer versions of this out which could be reflecting the price. But the newer ones are selling for like 215, 105 pounds. See that set there is sold for 105 pound. But is it, you know, I need to do some proper research onto it and find out. A set there is sold for 131. Oxford hot grips have sold for 59.99. We don't care about that. Daytona's. New Daytona heat grips, one inch level three built in universal switch. 25 quid, that's one, no two. So I don't know. So I'm gonna to have to do some research onto it. Like 45, 59, 59, 59, but I paid two pounds 50 for it. So I don't really mind that at all. So I'll take a chance on that for two pounds 50. And yes, I really want to sing, take a chance on me. One pounds 50 for, I believe these are, Hey Dougie, I think. Now little characters like this, yeah look, Hey Dougie. Hey Dougie, Hey Dougie. Now little characters like this, the kind of like third, oh, let's yogurt or something all over us. Dougie would be a lot less money, but like I don't, I've, I've never seen these sort of like side characters, the friend characters before, so I'm hoping they're worth some money. Did you find out today? 
normally I'll say, oh, I'll put a screenshot up for you, but I'll actually just uh, have a look now. So Betty, that's Betty the Talking Squirrel apparently, sells for about 10 to 12 quid. And then this one, 10, 8 to 12 quid. So not bad at all, clean them off. I'll see if Ada wants them first, and if she does, she can have those. But maybe about 15 quid all in on them. And you saw me pick this up just as I was cashing out. It wasn't there before, I knew it wasn't. And she did say to me, I've just picked it off the floor. That's why you found that, isn't it? It is. Tailor-made TP5 visor. That was pointless. Someone's got one, so they're listed for like 72 quid brand new. 12 quid pre-owned. I don't know what that one's gonna be. I'm not too sure. But I've only paid like 150 for it, I think. Yeah, 150. I used to wear mine like this as a kid growing up. You know what you're saying, bruv? This I've taken a chance, a £4.75 chance on this. It's a handbag. You can't really see it now. But it's like a perfume bottle. And I think it used to probably have perfume in it because it has got a security, magnetic security tag in there. So at one point of time, once upon a time, it might have had something in there. But I can't find exactly who made it or why. But it is quite well made. This clasp, it's not cheap and tacky. It's quite, it's quite a well made clasp. So I just thought for the sake of it, I'm going to have to have a risk on it. You know, it's shaped like a perfume bottle. I'm sure I'll be able to find it when it comes to listing. If not, it'll just sit there until I do. But £4.75, we took a chance on that one. Again, just like buying just to see. This is really smart, this IKEA lamp. Whoa! This is one of the things that I picked up and I thought I don't mind keeping that for myself. It's that lovely colour. You know, this sort of colour sells really well. The bright yellows, the bright reds, the mustards, the tans, all that kind of stuff with IKEA. It's a USB. I've got my USB to USB-C connector. Plug it into the laptop, and there we go. Just a nice little flexible reading desk lamp. That'd be nice if I'm in here and I'm working at night. I don't want that horrible light on, or that horrible light. I'll just have this on. Beautiful. For £4.75. I don't know what it's worth. Probably 12 to 15 I should imagine. It's got a nice little flick just there. But I bought that thinking, I don't mind if I have that. £5, brand new and sealed, gunned, squishy chase from... Paw Patrol, I'm pretty sure it's Chase. I think he's Chase. Or Marshall, no, Marshall's the fireman. Chase. Anyway, as you can see just there, it's made by Gund. I've done some research onto this. They're listed for about 20 quid and they're selling for about 18 to 20 quid, the different variations. I don't think this one's sold. I couldn't find any that sold, but they are listed for like 19.99 brand new. So I'll list mine for around about that same sort of price, I think, because they're using stock images. Mine, you can see that it's still in the bag. You can see that it's still tagged. Hopefully that'll give it some nice little sale value. Five pound paid on that, I think I'll be all right. This bag is a Wenger bag. So it's a laptop slash tablet slash rucksack, Swiss made, really good quality. I knew when I saw it before, I think I've sold a Wenger um, iPad case before, which caught my eye to the, to the brand. So I've looked into it. They do sell for between 15 to 50 quid pre-owned. So I've got to do some research, try and find a model number and work my price out from there. But for £5.50, with the sale price being minimum £15, I don't mind taking the chance on that. Of course, I'm hoping that I'm going to aim for the higher end value on that. But if it does end up being lower, I've not lost much. I'm not going to lose at all. I'm just not going to make as much. But it's really good condition. I've checked it all over. There's no breaks, no damages, no holes, no rips, no tears. A little bit of toothpaste in there. I've given it a quick little rub and it does come off. Behave yourself. Don't be cheeky. And I think I'll clean it up quite nicely. So five fifty, hopefully into about 30 quid on that. MG keyring, she saw me come in, she went, literally just showed it to me. I was like, okay, fine, I'll buy it. Paid a pound for that. Don't know if you guys remember, but I used to sell 2012 BMW London Olympics keyrings. I had hundreds of them. And they used to sell for like 4 95 6 95 3 95 depending on what the offer was. It just ticked out nicely. I can imagine it's going to be the same with that. Hopefully this one's worth about 10 quid and I'll list it for that. But if not, I paid a pound and it'll sell out quite quickly and it'll go as a large letter. And my favourite pickup of the day, which I don't actually know what I paid for it to be honest with you, is in the dog blanket stuff. The stuff ready for dogs. And somebody would have bought this, potentially, and just gave it to their dogs to lay on or clean up, mess with or lay it in the back of the car to let them trash. How cool is that? I'll see if I can try and show you it all. There you go. Really nice. Dated 1988. I have found a similar one listed on eBay for 29.99, something like that. So I'll do a screenshot of that so you can actually see how big it is. That's in the United States. I want to see if there's any holes or anything in it. That doesn't look like it. But yeah, I'll be able to list mine from the UK. So I'm hopefully, 
I'd do about 25, 30 quid on that one. That'd be a nice little one, wouldn't it? Okay? And I'll save that from ended up being a dog towel, cleaning up dog muck, covered in airs or whatever, shredded for cleaning. That would have honestly been an absolute shame. And it's in really nice condition. And there you go, that's me. I'm missing the car boot sales and I know you are too. So check out this one here and see if you can get some kind of like kick out of it because I'm going to be watching them in a minute myself.